Hey, how you doing there again, folks? You get, of course, Brandon Wenzel. Come back at you. Another offering off my sampler platter. <sighs> yes, indeed, folks. I'm Thunder Video Series of videos I've been doing for the while now. We're going over there to try food and drink items. I eat the stuff. I drink stuff. And, folks, I'm going to talk about the stuff. I'm going to let you know all that you need to know about hopefully delicious stuff that the time I'm doing this, folks, you know it and I know it. We all grew up watching the Looney Tunes. We all kind of wanted to go over there and ride around in a kangaroo's pouch. Now, would it have been as fun in real life? No. No. But we can still dream. But anyway, that aside, uh, I'm inside the truck, clearly. Um, however, <coughs> I'm not wearing a roadie work shirt. In fact, I'm a little bit of a spiffy shirt. You know, by my standards, it's spiffy. It's, my standards are very low. But uh, yes, indeed, folks. So unlike many times when I do reviews from inside the truck, this isn't an instance where I got off of work and then I found a thing to review. No, I actually had a whole bunch of stuff I had to do today, and I decided to go grab some lunch, and I found something to review. So, what did I find? What am I reviewing for you? What are we doing? Well, folks, we're doing boom! Ah, it's kind of hard to see. Uh, what the hell is this, folks? Well, these are this is the loaded mac and cheese from Arby's, and we're gonna we're gonna open it up so that you get a better look at the stuff, and it'll probably make for a better thumbnail. Ha ha ha! There we go. Um, so yeah, the it's you know the start of a new month. Typically, that's when you know the different fast food places you know they they roll out whatever their new monthly item is. And I was interested to see what Arby's would do because it's been a little bit since I've been to Arby's. Uh, I did their their wagyu beef uh, burger. Not too long ago, I did a review for that on the channel. I've actually done it twice. Um, and I've done some other stuff from Arby's. I might even do an Arby's playlist at this point. But yeah, so this was their their offering. It's mac and cheese. It's got some, you know, some chicken in there. It looks like they just kind of diced up their, their chicken nuggets, which, by the way, I've done a review of their chicken nuggets. And we got some bacon in there. Now, because they asked nicely, it in fact says, please stir before eating. Only because you asked so nicely. All right. Oh, I typically like their mac and cheese. It's pretty solid. Not the greatest mac and cheese you're ever going to have, but you know, it does what it needs to do. So let's let's stir it up. This is effectively like the the Arby's equivalent of like the famous bowl from KFC. Like, and we all made fun of that when it first came out because it basically was a a chicken trough. <laughs> of uh fried chicken and such but at the end of the day we all embraced it so yeah you definitely have to because i well man they they really just kind of they really went over there like with the bacon and such they just kind of put it all in one little spot so but we're gonna we're gonna move it around i feel like i'm almost doing like a poke bowl type of thing if you're not familiar with poke bowl they're they're fucking awesome they're like a fish thing, and it's in a bowl, and there's rice, and it's kind of a sushi thing, but it's like a Hawaiian thing. Really good. Especially if you can get a proper one. There's there's a place called Poke Bros that go over there and do them, and they're good. They're good, but the first place that I ever had them, uh, like, they, they did it proper, proper, and cost more, but man, oh, man. So, anyway... Um, it looks like for all intents and purposes, it's just Arby's white cheddar macaroni and cheese. So let's try to get a heaping helping of the whole thing. Looks like we got some chicken, we got some bacon, we got some macaroni. Let's have it going. I mean... For all intents and purposes, it is exactly what it... I mean, I'm not... I wasn't expecting to come into this surprised. And I'm not. Because, yeah, the base is definitely just their their white cheddar mac and cheese. Um, which, personally, I enjoy. It is different from, like, a standard mac and cheese. It has a little bit of a little bit more of a sharpness to it than, like, you know, just your, your basic kind of yellow mac and cheese. So it does have a little bit more 
a little bit more oomph of flavor. I could see it being potentially abrasive to some people if you're like a hardcore traditional mac and cheese fan, but I personally enjoy it. And then everything else it entails is, is there. Um, the chicken, you know, tastes like chicken. It does its thing. Uh, it, like I said, it's, it's pretty much just a, an Arby's, uh, you know, premium chicken nugget that I'm, I'm fairly certain they just like cut them into half and it's good. I mean, Arby's has some decent chicken nuggets. Now, as for the bacon, because that, for me, is really the main thing of this. Because, again, the other stuff, it's, well, okay, it's basically chopped up chicken nuggets inside some macaroni. I will give them credit, though. The chicken nuggets are nice and crispy. So, it's a nice texture thing. The bacon is really the thing that kind of makes it a little bit more, a little bit more extra. And to that end, it's not bad bacon flavor. And if anybody's watched my fast food reviews, whenever fast food bacon is a thing that needs to be discussed, I always have to be really kind of here or there on it because, like, for instance, with some of Burger King stuff, Burger King does not have a great uh, fast food bacon. It just doesn't. Um... It's not great quality, and they don't use a lot of it, and so a lot of times I find when they go over there and add it to an item on their menu, it's just nothing substantial. But other places do it better than Burger King does. Arby's is one of those places. And to that end, well, I wouldn't say by any stretch of the imagination that it's, you know, anything close to the greatest bacon I've ever had. You know, it's got a nice bite to it. You can taste it through the macaroni and cheese and the chicken, which is something where if it were again, like, you know, Burger King bacon, I don't think that would happen. I don't, I don't think I would taste the, the difference. It also adds a little bit of a texture. It's crispy. Uh, no wiggliness on it. So, you know, you're, you know, you're getting into it. And, you know, it's bacon. It's got a little bit of a saltiness, maybe a little tiny bit of a smokiness. It plays well with the macaroni and cheese because the macaroni and cheese is so sharp. So it kind of, it kind of rides that wave. Now, the only thing is, I will say, when you've got it all together, when you've got the bacon, the chicken, and the macaroni, It does play a role, but it is diminished. At that point, it is the lesser of the three flavors. But, I will say, the best tasting experience you're going to get out of this is when you have some macaroni, when you have some chicken, and when you have some bacon on one bite. When you have that whole thing working together, that's pretty damn tasty. So, I mean, my overall takeaway from it, I personally enjoy it. A huge amount, like, this is the two questions that have to be asked. Would I get it again? Or would I recommend it to other people? I think I would potentially get it again. I like it as a side. I'm sure it's going to be a limited edition item. I don't feel like it's super duper special because, again, I feel like it's just them taking stuff that they already have available and just mashing it together. But does it is tasty. I, I can go with it. So... You know, if I had the opportunity between this and, like, just the standard white cheddar macaroni, I'd probably get this. Now, would I recommend it to people? Yes, but if you're already going through an Arby's, sure, give it a shot. Again, a lot of it's going to determine, going to be determined by how much you like their white cheddar mac and cheese. If you're somebody who's not into it, I don't think this, this isn't going to change things for you. Because it is the, the most prominent player in this whole thing. Um, but, now that said, would I suggest going out of your way for it? No. This, for me, is an item where it's good, it's nice as a side, but that's as far as it goes. 
if you happen to go into an Arby's, if it's available to you, sure, pick it up. I think it's, like I said, as long as you like the white uh, cheddar mac and cheese, I think there's just a better version of that. But should you go over there and get in your truck and make the, no, no, because it's, it's okay, but again, it's, it's, it's a side item that's, it's worth it if you're already there. Beyond that, eh, it's good, but I, it's not that good. So anyway, folks, that's going to do it for me on this one. Five things before I get out of here. Have yourself a great rest of your day. Spectacular rest of your week. Monumental rest of your month. Stupendous rest of your year. Folks, if you can go over there and have yourselves a truly loaded rest of your life. But maybe not in the way that, like, that term might be used normally. Uh, I mean, drink responsibly, folks, please. Um, but no, you know what? Loaded in the way, like, the like the PS1 games. Game called Loaded. It was kind of like a top-down, shoot 'em up version of... Uh, Twisted Metal even had a clown character is like the, the signature guy. It's good times. Uh, <laughs> follow two things, folks. Number one, try to bring some positivity to your world. It's not always possible. It is, however, always appreciated. But if you can't do it all the time, I know I can't do it all the time. Here's what you do, folks. You try not to be an asshole. Not always the easiest thing in the world to do, folks. Even when you're looking as spiffy as this guy right here. I mean, I've had a day, folks. Started off kind of crappy, then it became good, then it became better, then it went straight to crap. It's probably going to be crappy for a little while until I work some stuff out in my life, but that is what it is. Now, I could go over there and I could take that aspect of things and let loose on the people around me, but I don't want to be that guy. You know, try to be positive when I can. Try to mitigate the level of assholes in my life so that hopefully I can do better not only for myself, but for those around me. And I know you can do it too. Very final thing, folks, do the thing. Whatever the thing is for you, that's what I want you to go out and do. Folks, maybe you're going to go over there and you're going to get yourself... You're going to get yourself some loaded mac and cheese from Arby's, as I have done here in this video today. And maybe like me, you're going to enjoy it. You're going to have a good time. You're going to be eating it. You're going to be like, you know what would make this better? You know what would make this better? If I ate the loaded mac and cheese while I played the PS1 game Loaded... For adult loaded exception, okay? Where yes, we're going back to that. That's that's the term that we're running back to. It's, uh, it's 2015 all over again. I have no idea. I don't remember what Inception came out. Um, but then you go over there, you're eating that, you're playing the game, you start to lose sight of what reality even is. Are you in the game? Are you the macaroni and cheese? But ultimately, you're going to bring it back around because at the end of the day, you're just playing a PlayStation game and eating some mac and cheese. Or conversely, you could not have like an existential crisis while you're playing an old video game and eating some mac and cheese. Maybe just play a video game and eat some mac and cheese. Bye.